Hello, hello, you guys. Thank you for stopping by my ch channel, Rashmi Beauty Around the World. I'm so happy to welcome you here. Thank you so much for coming. And um, we are diving right in. As you can see today, we are back at home in the back room. I'm so happy about that. Um, yes, so I have today a video for you which has been requested by different viewers over time and i decided today to make that video and a lot of ladies me included have a hard time deciding between two louis vuitton bags and that is the neverfull and the graceful and um when i was on my Louis Vuitton journey. I always said at the beginning, I will never get a never full. Everyone has it. I don't need another tote bag. I have so many MCM totes. I don't need it. So I opted to get the graceful and I love the bag. So at that time I got the graceful. It was pretty clear to me that I will get the graceful MM and I have two gracefuls. Number one, is the one in monogram with the peony interior and number two is the graceful in a ben with the red interior and both of them are in the mm size i will insert a picture here if i find it i tried on the pm size and the pm looked not good on my body frame it looked too small for my body frame and also personally the graceful is a hobo bag so i wanted a hoboish look and that only happens for me in my understanding with a slouch and of course the mm slouch is way more than the pm and the pm generally was also too small for me so i opted for two mm sizes i did not buy the pm size and um, what we will go to do today is compare the neverfull generally with the graceful and make also a comparison between the graceful mm and the neverfull mm so um the neverfull came on the market uh 2007 and it was launched on the market by louis vuitton in competition competition to the saint louis tour by goya i'll insert a picture here and nobody knew that the Neverfull will be such a, such a, such a, such a heartbreaker, not heartbreaker, will be loved by so many women all over the world. And uh, right now, everybody's, people say nearly everybody has a Neverfull in, in their cupboard. I don't know about that, but a lot of people buy the Neverfull for a good reason. And the Graceful came on the market in 2017 and um, came as a as a replacement kind of for the um, delightful the delightful was also a hobo bag was taken out of the market and they launched 2017 the graceful the graceful very often when women want to have a bigger bag they think about the neverfull or the graceful so um i first got the two gracefuls because like i mentioned i was completely against getting a neverfull but now that i had both bags for a longer time i don't want to miss out on the neverfull anymore and um, also not on the graceful because they both serve different occasions and times and everything so the neverfull because it was so successful i'll give you some more shots while i'm talking the neverfull because it was so successful on the market um was it came out first in a very limited color combination and um, was very fast 
launched and more colors. So the Neverfull comes in three sizes, the PM size, the MM size, and the GM size. This is the GM size. The Neverfull comes in different, all different, three different canvases, Damia Azure, Damia Eben, and monogram. They also so come in leather versions, the with the gra the which the graceful also does very not diverse. come in. You can get beige, rose ballerine, peony, cherry red. So a lot of options to choose from. The graceful comes in only two sizes, in the PM size and the MM size. And the graceful comes in monogram beige, monogram peony, or a band red. Those are the only color options. Oh no, that is wrong. It comes also in Azure with Rose Ballerine. But it doesn't have all these color combinations like the Neverfull has, like you can get a monogram in Cherry Red or a, a band with Rose Ballerine. The so Neverfull also the comes in the World the Tour version, which the Graceful the also doesn't have. In Peony, the monogram in Beige the Eben with red and the Azure with rose ballerine. So that's it for the graceful. Then I also, I'm looking down here because I already measured both bags, the MM and the, um, I measured the graceful MM and The Neverfull MM. I write. I have the Neverfull MM in all three patterns, but you know my trouble. The monogram cherry red, the abandoned rose ballerine are defective, and I'm waiting to exchange them. So right now, I only am using the azure one with the rose ballerine interior. So I took the measurement of both of these and I will give you also visual comparison after I tell you the measurements. The Neverfull length is 11.5. The Graceful MM length, Neverfull MM. I'm comparing only the MM sizes now. Neverfull length 11.5 inches, Graceful. 13.5 inches so it's two inches longer the graceful the height of the neverfull mm is 9.5 inches the graceful is 12.5 inches so three inches higher up the graceful is and um the width of the Neverfull MM is 6 inches and the Graceful MM 7 inches. So the width of the Neverfull is 1 inches more. So in total, the Neverfull is, um, let's calculate this, 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 1 is 6, 6 inches bigger volume than the Neverfull MM. So the Graceful is bigger, bigger than the Neverfull MM. And... Um, I will give you visuals now for the Neverfull MM and the Graceful, uh, Neverfull GM and Graceful MM, and then I will do Graceful MM and Neverfull MM. I brought the uh, Neverfull GM into play because I wanted to show you how the GM looks cinched in in comparison with the Graceful and actually I used a, a one that is loaded up right now so I'm using right now the Neverfull GM in the in the um, monogram I have, and I'm cinching that one in because it's full, and then you can see better how they compare visually. So this is the Neverfull GM cinched in. 
in comparison with the peony. And um, I love both bags. That's why you can see I have both bags and both patterns. And I'm very happy that I did my Louis Vuitton spray last year because they will have now again another price increase. I made some notes here and I wanted to check. Oh yes, a big difference between the Graceful and the Neverfull is also that the Neverfull comes with the pochette. Here the pochette, which I find extremely handy. We'll also make a video about this. And the Graceful does not come with any pochette. But of course, the Neverfull had the biggest price hike. It is now over 2K. And the Graceful is still under, the MM size is still under 2K. So there is a price difference. And um, I... If I had to choose one, one bag out of the Neverfulls and the Graceful MM size, GM size, I would choose. Da, 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 da. Leave your guess in the comments now. Leave your guess which one will Rashmi choose if only one bag is picked up by her and that would be hands down although i love the style of the graceful and everything it would be the neverfull gm the neverfull gm i love anyway tote bags i have so many mcm tote bags as well but the neverfull mm or gm or any neverfull opens up widely and you can fit up in so many things and the graceful has also a quite generous opening but not that widely it's not that you can stand at the cashier and just grab in and uh, find your stuff very easily by looking at it with the never full gm you just look down see everything and you are good to go and i give you also one more time a visual of the both never full sizes here I will make one day also uh, soon a dedicated comparison between the Neverfull GM and MM. I don't have the PM. I tried the PM on one time and that wouldn't fit over my shoulder. So I opted, left that out. And also if the bag is so small, I don't like to have the big opening. Because what I do very often with the Neverfull is just putting a scarf or a hoodie or a thin sweater on top so that um, nothing can fall out or people cannot peek into my bag. So um, that's it from me between the Neverfull and Graceful. To recap, the Neverfull... Oh, one more difference is also why a lot of people stay away from the Graceful are the folded corners. Uh, people have not good experience with the folded corners and the Neverfull does not have the folded corners. And um, I have a few bags with the folded corners. Like you saw, I have the two Neverfulls. I have the Montsouris backpack with the folded corners. And so far, they are holding up very well. So to recap, the difference between the Neverfull, the significant uh, differences which I was thinking about when I made my purchases was um, the style, the size and the folded corners or not folded corners and the never full comes with a pouch which is an advantage. A lot of people don't like the pouch. I do love the pouch. And I hope whoever is looking between the Neverfull and the Graceful and cannot make up their mind um, finds this video helpful. I know a lot of people are looking in between these two bags. And um, 
yes so uh, as you can see I couldn't make up my mind I got both of them when I bought them this was 1560 but I paid a lot more for the Neverfulls unfortunately I think the price hike last time of the Neverfull was like four or five hundred dollars and it was at that time around 1600 and now it's 2200 is ridiculous it is ridiculous but i do use all of my bags a lot so i kind of um i wouldn't say okay with it but it is what it is i thank you so much for coming here and watching i hope you enjoyed this little uh, comparison video if you have more questions which i did not touch in this video please leave me a comment or pm me on instagram and i will definitely answer and come back to you and i hope to see you in the next one bye